Boom. Uh, I have a, um, a request for information and I don't really have the answer because I've never tried it. Uh, and it involves the um, jump start, the jump port start, uh, emergency start uh, connection that you can hook up jumper cables to another vehicle and uh, jump start your slingshot. That's what it is, called a jump port. It's under the hood and uh, it gives you access uh, without having to take the uh, battery case off and try to get down and, and get uh, jumper cables on the battery. The question is, the lead that I have the jump port connected to is not all the way back to the battery, but it's to the alternator where you have a hot lead on the 2017 model. That lead from the alternator is a smaller gauge wire uh, and it goes down to the starter where it picks up the heavy starter lead all the way back to the battery and through a fuse. So uh, the question is, is that wire big enough to uh, safely start uh, the slingshot? Okay, I'm going to do a test and uh, I'm going to give you all the parameters that I'm going to do the test under. Uh, my battery is fully charged right now. I'm going to show you what uh, my battery reads. I have a battery indicator. Actually, it's not fully charged. It's been sitting for a while, and it's 11.7 volts down there. It should be uh, about 12.6 or something like that. So uh, my battery is getting to the point where it's not holding the charge real well. So uh, uh, I may be in the market for a battery soon. But I'm going to crank it up with the 11.7 uh, volts. And uh, we're going to see how long it takes to crank. And it should be about within a second and a half to two seconds. All right. I'm going to put this back up here. All right. Okay, turn around. See, that is quick. About two seconds at the most. If, if that, I think it was shorter. Okay, my battery is now being charged at 13.7 volt rate, which is a normal alternator uh, charging uh, voltage. See that it will start at 11.7. When you get down to around 10 volts, uh, you don't have enough voltage, or you're right on the borderline. 10 volts, uh, most of the time, will not crank it because you need uh, 9 volts on the starter uh, to, uh, to get it to turn over, and it may not turn over enough at that. So, I'm going to turn my lights on, turn everything I can get on to run this battery down. Blue lead right there. This lead that goes down right there is the blue lead that goes to the starter motor and picks up the heavy lead back to the battery. That's the uh, lead that uh, people are concerned. This goes to my jump port right here. This lead right here goes up to this jump port right there so when I try attempt to start I put the starting vehicles uh, jumper cable positive here it's going to go through this heavy wire through the blue wire and through the lead all the way back to the to the battery so that blue wire is what's uh, people's concerns so we're going to do a test and actually see what are the results. So I'll have my camera ready to, to see if um, where we are on this, okay? Okay, folks, it took 25 minutes to get it to 10.9 and it will not crank at this point. So let me turn her on and show you see when you turn it on you only got 10 3 see I'm dead 
Oh, okay. With 10, 3, 10 9, it's not going to take much of a jump uh, that uh, it's going to come right back. Now, if you've sat out there and got your battery down to zero, you are going to draw more current through that line uh, because you don't have the help of your battery back there. So, uh, we'll see how this works. Uh, on the slingshot, I have my positive terminal there and making sure it's not grounding to anything. Let me put this thing up here like this. And right here is a, a ground. Then I have my other battery term, uh, jumper terminals that uh, I'm going to go over here to the Jeep. And I'm going to first connect the positive lead on the battery. So now I've got... I've got my positive going to my positive on the Jeep or uh, the slingshot. And now I'm not going to stick the negative there. I'm going to go to a ground, but we don't want to uh, make any shorts. So uh, I'm going to find me a ground point that's away from the battery. And uh, let's see. Actually, right. look ahead of time but right down here let me get this thing around okay this should be ground down here okay let's see okay I got 11 8 and now battery voltage actually battery voltage is now going through this blue wire down to my battery it's cold as a cucumber so it's not hot it's, it's a pretty good gauge so let me give a start now you watch nothing's going to happen but she's going to start I've got 11.9 13.6 I did it and you saw it okay now here's the other thing is you want to take the battery leads loose uh, properly okay we're going to take we're going to do the reverse order I'm going to take the ground off making sure I don't touch these two and then I'm going to take the ground off of here and the positive and also the positive here okay now I'm going to feel of the wire and see if I feel any it did have a little bit of warmth a little more than it was before but uh, I don't think it'll be a problem at all. This thing doesn't require a lot of cranking uh, amps. So that makes it good. All right, so there you have it, uh, the test of uh, going through the alternator lead uh, for your jump board.